In the previous uh, video, we looked at how to estimate the yield to maturity on a bond. And we used this example here where uh, we knew that the yield to the yield to maturity in the bond was 5.6%, and that was consistent with a price of 1,010.91. If we ask that question in reverse, we know the price of, price of the bond, the value of the bond, but want to infer the yield to maturity, the R or the I, so the yield to maturity, the 0 0.56. How do we back out the value of the yield to maturity? Um, so in that process we used a bisection technique and we had two functions and in this video I want to show how the double functions, both functions can be con combined together so that one function produces the yield to maturity. So in the previous video we illustrated how we implemented this code and in the bisection function internally a separate function, the present value of the bond for different multiples, different pe time periods, periodicities, uh, was estimated. So an annuity function, so this annuity function is used in order to make, is called up internally in the bisection function. Okay, so how do we convert into, in other words, how do we take how do we take this, both of these functions com combined together? So, um, what we need to do is to recognize, first of all, that the this function here corresponds to this function here. And that, while in every respect the functions are alike, here R corresponds to the H plus L divided by 2. So what we could do is take, okay, uh, copy both of these functions. So copy or copy here coupon rate first. So we copy this coupon rate and we just enter that here, paste, and then um, we can take, we could take this function here, okay, and copy it. Now notice I'm leaving a part PVBM, so the name of the function has not been replicated, so I'm going to copy that function and um, replace PVBM here and paste and then instead of R um, and because we had, if we go back, because we had H plus L minus 2 correspond to R so this, if you think about it, this func this variable corresponded to R here. Instead of writing R in inside this function, so we take let's undo what I just did. We replace we replace R by H plus L divided by two. Okay, so go back to where we started and we take this H plus L divided by 2, it's always the same, and use that instead of R. So open bracket, close bracket, and replace, so paste, and R appears here again. So I'm going to open bracket, close bracket, and replace R. And I do that again, I open bracket, close bracket, and paste. I close the explorer, 
no more instances of R. Coupon rate, and I can get rid of the this function here. So we can delete this function and go back in and just check does our function still work? Well, first of all, the function the VV because this function is gone, when I return, it no longer brings up an estimation. However, here this function should still work and it does and if I change for instance the if I change the target price to be a thousand so it's a power bond the value of the intern rate of return or the yield to maturity I know must be equal to the same six percent so if I change the if the value the target value of the bond is equal to the face value of the bond the yield to maturity becomes equal to the coupon rate and again for uh, if we look at this we can see it's virtually equal to six percent so that function then works and we can copy we can use in, in a sense then we have a single function that defines uh, the internal rate of return or the yield to maturity in the bond okay